just wanted to talk about phone use. So people with dementia, people who have suffered a stroke, um, anybody that ha has like memory issues, young or old, um, is it okay for them to use their smartphone? Um, in my situation, the man that I work with is absolutely wonderful, very smart. Um, and prior to his stroke, he used his phone all the time, like we all do. He's very social, like more social than most people I know. So connected. Um, so after the stroke, you know, he's ready to jump right back in using that phone. But is it a good idea? Um, we have found that he is constantly seeking recognition um, from friends, from not even friends, seeking, he'll reach out to people on Facebook that he hasn't seen in, you know, decades. And he will try to reconnect with them, but he likes to share the things that he's been doing, like his artwork, and he likes to tell his story. And he enjoys when people praise him for his work and give him extra attention. He's seeking that desperately. And so it was manageable for a while, but now he seems to be slipping. His dementia seems to be slipping and it's just getting harder. So what do you do? Um, we have limited his circle to his the main family members and a few really close friends who understand the situation but as far as Facebook and LinkedIn go we really have to cut him off because you know he's seeking out new friends and it's becoming obsessive and messaging these people almost like stalking and we certainly don't want to give the wrong impression we don't want to scare these people we want to help them understand what he's you know what his intentions are um, so that's been my struggle um, and as a caregiver I'm working with him for multiple hours of the day um, a lot of that is driving time and you know he's constantly grabbing his phone looking at it um, reaching out to people so one thing that we do to help manage this is I have him play his um, different news articles for me. So he'll pick the article, we'll listen to it together. But even then I have to remind him, you know, this is what we're doing. We're listening to this article. We're not reaching out to friends because he'll still want to text during that time. So it's become quite an issue and we haven't cut him off from the phone. But you have to watch, you have to babysit constantly because if you don't, he'll tap into LinkedIn or Facebook and he'll he'll seek you know he'll message people he hasn't messaged or find new people just to try to connect and share his story so I'm just wondering you know what your experience is um, does your loved one have an iPhone have a smartphone um, are they having problems with using it do you have to limit the hours that they use it do you have to limit um, the apps that they're able to use because you can really get into trouble if you let them go. Um, but we don't want to take it away because he is a social butterfly. And most of the people understand the situation and they're okay that he's messaging them 10 times a day. Um, but I've had to block him um, because he would communicate with me through text when we're not together and it was becoming obsessive. And so I have blocked him and I have not unblocked him yet, but it's just awkward because you don't want to do that, right? He's a good friend of mine. I love him, I feel bad, but it's hard for him to understand what he's doing. Um, so he really needs babysitting, you know? And so I just wonder what your experience is. Um, if you can share your story, um, if you have ways that you try to balance this, do tell. Again, all of us need to not be on our phone so much. So I'm learning to put mine down when I'm with him. But it just seems to be um, an issue that we're dealing with at the moment. And I'm not sure how to resolve it. But thank you for sharing your ideas. And uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm Jill Jacobson. And 
hopefully I can offer you some tips and tricks and just try to problem solve with you if you are a caregiver or um, a therapist and you know there's a lot of issues that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis and so just hoping to share some of my knowledge and experience and problem solve with you thank you for your time and tune in next time take a look at my channel I've got other um, games um, that I have found useful with my stroke patients that I work with um, and yeah different routines that I'm sharing um, and different activities I try to keep my videos short uh, thanks for being kind I'm new at this but thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time